There are questions, I mean, serious questions we need to ask ourselves. Why is it that every Western country wants to set up a military base or some sort of military assistance in Africa? Why is it that Western countries most at times set up military bases in African countries with abundant resources? Why is it that every African country they set up military base somehow start experiencing some sort of conflict? There is a story of Israel withdrawing its military trainers from DRC Ahmed Ham. The recent escalation of violence between Israel and Hamas in Gaza has had a new turn in Africa where Israel has been providing military training to the Democratic Republic of Congo to help them fight an armed rebellion in the east of the country. According to sources, Israel has repatriated dozens of instructors employed by the private military contractors in DR Congo following the mass mobilization of Israel rebellists after the Hamas attack on 7th October. The Israeli instructors were part of the security cooperation agreement signed in 2019 between Israel and the DRC under which Israel offered to train and equip the Congolese army to combat the Allied Democratic Force, a rebel group linked to the Islamic State. Here is where my problems comes in. So, can't AU, which is the African Union, set up African Defense Force that intervene when there is a conflict in one of the African countries? Why do we always depend on the Western countries for military assistance when we need help? This is a whole continent of 54 countries. This is a whole continent of enough resources which can back our military defense. But most of the times, when there is conflict in African countries, we find ourselves introducing Western countries to come and help us. And at the end of the day, we know what happens. I, then, I don't need to talk too much about this. At the end of the day, a lot of things happened. Recently, there was video circulating online that Congolese were able to find a drone, UN drone, which was packed with gold, huge amount of gold. Most of the times, this conflict that happens in most of the African countries end up being fueled by some Western countries. It's well known which France and other countries are guilty. In 1994, when there was genocide in Rwanda, UN called, called all the uh, UN military which was intervening in Rwanda for peace defense. They recalled them back to their country and they left Rwanda to rot. Few African countries, especially Ghana military, defiled this order and they were able to sit back. Ghana military were able to save 30,000 citizens. What happens in 1994 should tell us that when it comes to conflict in Africa, it's only Africans that can solve our problems. So you think someone who have interest in your resources when there is conflict, he's really going to help you to overcome your conflict? No, he is going to fuel it and take all your resources behind you while you are busily fighting, they will be taking your resources. For few months, there have been 
the, 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 the DRC, the, the, the DRC conflict has reached the climax. There is genocide going on in DRC. And none of African leaders has issued even a statement. African Union hasn't issued any statement about this genocide which is happening in DRC. Why are Africans doing this to ourselves? All this should have been more easier if Africa were united. Are we our own enemies? If not recently, I didn't even know Israel had a, a, a military joint a, collaboration with DRC. We have the resources. We have everything. But we don't have the leaders. We don't have people who think outside the box. The leaders we have have somehow sell or sold their principles. Most of them has been compromised. Most of them are puppets. Most of them react to what their puppet masters tell them to do. We have been greedy. So when you mention of African unity, everybody starts going back because they think if African unite, they are going to leave their post for someone to lead them. But it's not always about we united or we coming together. We can unite economically like how European Union has done. We can unite in when it comes to military base. We can form African Defense Force who will intervene when there is problems. Look at what happens to Libya. If you think Africa were having a united force, what happened to Gaddafi should have happened? No. If we have a defense force, no other country should have come and say, uh, we are going to eliminate your leader because he is a dictator, he is this. We have European or we have Western country leaders who have caused atrocities, but they are still living. It's about time Africa we wake up. It's about time Africa we wake up. We can't always depend on Western countries for military assistance. Since time in memoria, they have been assisting Africa militarily, but nothing good has come out from this. Africa need to wake up. Please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime I upload any great content, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.